In yesterday's video, part one, I shared with you a purpose-driven lifestyle and how you can regain peace in your life and in your home in tangible ways. Today I'm going to share with you what happens when you have that peace, but others want to pull you back into the drama of life. How do you handle it? And I'm going to share with you the first part of this video, a very special thing that happened to me today. What you're about to see was something that was pre-recorded a few days ago. And the reason why you're hearing me talk this morning is because I just got back from the post office and I received this gift. I received this gift with the letter inside it. And God works in mysterious ways because this letter is a confirmation to me of some things I've been going through in my life. This person has no idea what I've been going through, but the words she spoke just really made such a huge impact on me. And you're going to understand why this is so important to me after you watch the video that I pre-recorded. You know I talk about on Saturday about having a purpose in your life and about every day you can start new. Most people don't realize, but about six weeks ago, I made a comment on a video on the internet. There's quite a controversy going on between someone. They, there's people that feel this way about someone and there's people that feel this way about someone. And it's been going on and on and on, I guess, for months now. And I made a comment just sharing with my concerns about this subject and sharing my thoughts and my feelings on it. I did it with all full respect and all full honesty. I'm a very kind person. I'm a very soft-hearted person. I have a lot of empathy. But yet, I said what I felt and I said, some concerns that I had. I don't believe in making fun of anyone. I don't believe in ridiculing anyone personally. You don't do that. But I always felt like if somebody was respectful to me and they had a concern about what I said or a concern about something that I said, I would be more than happy to share with them my thoughts and my feelings. You know, there's two ways that you can handle a situation. You can ridicule the person, you can make fun of them, you can belittle them, or you can genuinely have a question and you can ask that person in respect. And that's what I did. People ask me all the time different things and when I talk, they say, well, what did you mean by that? Can you explain a little further? And I'd be more than happy to share with them. But let's face it, if somebody ridicules or makes fun of somebody, like if they do that to me, I won't respond. I will just ignore them. When I made my concerns and I just shared my thoughts on the subject, some people weren't very happy and they came after me with a vengeance. They ridiculed me. They made fun of me. They said all kinds of things about me simply because I spoke my concern. I realized what I was about to do was walk in the lion's den. And I did. I went to those people, always with respect, never ever belittling anyone, never talking vile. I'm not that kind of person. I shared with them my heart. I tried to reason. I tried to explain. It only made things worse. And then I realized in life that sometimes you can make a stand for yourself and sometimes it's best to walk away. Sometimes it's best to not respond to those people or to that kind of way that people respond. And that is the video coming up today. So why does this gift mean so much to me? Inside this gift is a letter. And the letter is real special to me. But what's even more special to me is this piece of paper that was written in 1983. She gave me this letter that she wrote to herself in 1983. And let me tell you, it was as if God was speaking to me. I'm going to be sharing in the video here in a few moments about how I decided to have peace in my life and how I walked away and I no longer talked to those people and tried to reason with them. But even to this day, they make fun of me and they ridicule me. They make fun of me in so many ways, and my appearance, the way I talk, because they're trying to drag me back into that. 
And I realize in life that we make a stand, we share what we think, and then we move on from it, and we gain our peace in our life. And that's what I've done. I have such peace in my life. But this letter that this woman wrote to herself in 1983, she shared it with me. And let me tell you one thing, it was a confirmation. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words alone cannot harm me. I wrote this during a time in my life when people were telling lies on me. And she wrote this January 1983. You know, and it was a confirmation to me that in life there's going to be people that are vile, that are going to say mean things, that are going to attack. But you share your faith, you share your thoughts, and then you walk away. And that is how you can regain peace in your life. And when people see you having peace in your life, sometimes it makes them even act out worse. And that is something that we all have to be prepared for in life. And the fact that this was given me the day of me airing this video just shares with me that God was telling me, Tessie, keep sharing your faith, keep sharing your love, keep sharing your thoughts. It doesn't go on deaf ears. You know, we want to reach out to everyone. We want everyone to see your point of view. And sometimes people won't. And sometimes people will never see your point of view. But that's okay because you did your best and you shared your life. I also want to thank someone else. In the post office box was two things, and that was this. And that was this. And I really want to thank the person for giving me this. It meant a lot to me. Um, it was an answer to prayer. Uh, prayer, only you know what it is. And um, because it was an answer to prayer, I just really want to thank you. And to the girl who wrote this and gave it to me, it means a lot to me. Words can really hurt, and that's why it's really important when we have a difference of opinion with someone that we don't belittle them in personal ways, that we don't make fun of their appearance or make fun of the way they talk, that we keep our focus on the task at hand and not get so wrapped up in belittling people. We can have difference of opinion. We can have difference of personalities, difference of lifestyles. But when we start belittling one another and start making fun of them, then we are no better than that person. And I want to say I'm so thankful to God that I never fell down that trap, that I can look in the camera and say I have never, ever, treat it someone like they treat me. I don't make fun of people. I don't make fun of the way they look, the way they dress, the way they talk. I do have concerns on issues that I see. I do have concerns, but that stays as a generic concern and not belittling anyone else. I hope you enjoy this following video about a purpose-driven life and I talked about positivity and bringing peace into your life. I've been geared so much talking about these kind of things, about taking the clutter out of your life and going back to the old ways, the old-fashioned way of living. That sounds all great, but what happens when drama comes knocking on your door? For everybody, drama is different. Some people have that family member, you know, the one who always seems to have so much drama in their life. Everybody has some sort of drama in their life. But what do you do when drama comes knocking at your door? A lot of times when people see that you're creating peace in your life and you have happiness, that's when they go on the attack. They don't like to see you happy. They don't like to see you have peace. It, they liked you the old way you were. Even though at the time they may not have liked you then, they liked the way that you were involved with the drama. They liked that you were part of it. And now all of a sudden you're different. You're not fun anymore to them because you're not going along with all of the drama that they are giving you. 
These things happen to all of us. You know, misery loves company. And when people start seeing someone making a change in their life, some people aren't going to be happy. And they're not going to be happy for you. Your true friends will find comfort in knowing that you're creating peace in your life. Your true friends will love you and be happy for you. But sometimes you will find people that react in a totally different way. And you think to yourself, what in the world? What in the world did I do? I'm experiencing great peace in my life. I realize in life, not everybody is going to be happy. Not everybody's going to be happy when you set out to make a change in your life. And a lot of times people are going to want to bring you back into that drama. They're going to want to pull you into it. You know, when you create a peaceful lifestyle, it's not just something that you do once and you're done with. It's in, like everything in life. It's a daily thing that you have to work on. You have to keep working on keeping peace in your house and not bringing drama to your front door. A lot of times people will bring it to you and they want you to react and your first instinct is to react. I know all about it. This week I was challenged because I saw something and heard something about me that I wanted to react to it. Oh, they almost pulled me in. I wanted to say to them, what you're saying isn't true. How you're making fun of the way I look isn't right. I realized by pulling me back into that drama, then I'm losing the peace that I so much desired. The world is not a peaceful place. And when you decide to put peace into your life, you're going to get some conflict. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it should be that way, but it always is. Whenever you do something to be better, to strive to be a better person, you will always have stumbling blocks in your way. Whether you're working on a diet, whether you're working on relationships with others, whether you're re working on just creating more peace in your life, there's always going to be stumbling blocks. And just know what they are and realize that these things are going to happen. And so when something does arise and somebody does tell you some juicy gossip or somebody does tell you something, remember, I don't want to get involved in that because I want to keep my peace. I talked to a family member not too long ago. He went to Bible seminary and he explained a lot of the biblical truths to me, things that I couldn't understand quite. And he explained to me, he said, you can go to these places, you can take a stand, you can tell people what you believe in, but he says you walk away then. He said, you made your statement, you shared your faith, but you walk away. And it's up to them if they want to come into your life. I'm not a Mother Teresa and I can't change the world. And I realize that in life there are people that are going to talk about you. Especially if they see that you're trying to create a peace in your life. But what you need to do is just don't get involved in it. Even though you feel that your involvement is a right way of doing it. So many times they would turn that around and just use it against you even more. So I'm so thankful I sat back and said, okay girl, it's all right, don't get involved. You made your statement long time ago, you can be done with it now and you can move on. And you know what, I felt really good. And you know another thing I noticed too, is if you find something in your life that is conflicting with you and it's taking a little bit of your peace. If you have someone you can share that with, if you have a mentor or someone that you know is a close friend and you can share that with them, it just gets it off your chest and it takes the stress away from you, but yet you're able to just free your mind of it. That's what I do. I have a mentor. I have someone that whenever something comes my way and somebody tries to involve me in drama or things that aren't peaceful, now I can go and talk to that person in private and I get it off my chest and I keep remain silent and I don't get involved with people in that way. It's really been helpful for me. I've learned a lot in these last nine, ten weeks of my life. I learned a lot about making a stand, being bold for what you believe in, but then walk away and have peace and comfort back in your life. It's a fine line to know when to turn your eyes and look away or to make a stand. It is a fine line because so many times when you make a stand, people use that against you. 
And honestly, people don't want to hear anyhow. People don't want to hear that kind of peace in your life. There are people who are happy for you and there are people who will never be happy for you no matter what changes you make in your life. And you have to accept that. There are people that will be jealous because you're rich in life, because you do have money. There will be people that are jealous because you aren't rich in life, but you're happy with what you have. There will be people that are jealous about everything about you. There will be people that will make fun of you no matter what you do. And that is just with them and not with you. But create your peace and a hedge of protection and peace around your life. And when you do that, you just feel so calm and you have contentment. And when the arrows do come at you, of course they will. All of us have somebody that's going to be mean to us in our life. All of us have somebody that's going to treat us wrongly. All of us have somebody that's going to mock and make fun of us. But those arrows won't hit you anymore because you have that guard of peace in your life and you realize those things can't come at you anymore. It is a process. It doesn't happen overnight. You can go from low self-esteem to having self-esteem, but it is a long, gradual process. You don't all of a sudden become somebody different overnight. But step by step, when you protect yourself and you use wisdom and common sense about things in your life, you become stronger. And so I hope that my videos encourage you. You've seen all of the mistakes I've made in my life. I share my mistakes with you all, only to share with you how through those mistakes I'm learning. We will always learn from the day we live to the day we die. We will always learn these things. We will always make mistakes, but each time on the ladder, we go up one more step. And when we make a mistake, we go down one more step but we keep going up two more steps. So eventually in the ladder of success in life, in the ladder of peace in your life, you will grow, you will get up there, and you will remain up there, and your mistakes will be smaller and smaller. But it's a journey, it's a journey. When there's addictions in people's lives, they can't overcome their addictions overnight. It is a step-by-step -step gradual healing of your mind, soul, and body. And that is the same with peace in your life. It's not all of a sudden yesterday you have turmoil, tomorrow you're going to have glorious peace. But it's a step by step in removing the things that affect you that can cause you such anxiety. There are some things in our life that will always remain in our life that will give us anxiety. We are in situations in life that will give us anxiety. I have a YouTube channel. I'm out there for the world to see. Not everybody's going to like me. And there are going to be people that are going to attack no matter what. So that forms a certain anxiety in my life. But learning to handle those anxieties is what makes a difference. There's always going to be relationships in our life where the people can cause us anxiety. But learning to deal with those anxieties in our life is what brings healing. Healing isn't always for the other person, my friends. Healing is for yourself. Forgiveness is for yourself. Learning peace in your life is for yourself. And in turn, you will help others as well. Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys night's video that's part one where I share with you intangible ways how you can have peace in your life and in your home here it is I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow